Bottom of the sixth inning of four to two in this game number two. Brook Hill up on the series one to nothing and they lead in this game. Jake Schaefer, the third baseman, takes one and that's inside for ball one. As uh, Caleb Sylvia comes out to throw his second inning of relief. His first pitch there was his ninth of this outing. That ride down the pike for a strike. On deck is Carson Richards, the second baseman. And Jake Sheffer watches this one go down low and away. For ball two. Today, 0 for 2 is Schaefer. But he did reach back in the second on an error as Mike Failer nicely comes out and uh, delivers some fresh baseballs for home plate umpire Mason Bowie. Two balls and a strike. And a breaking ball. Yes, that freezes and ties up Jake Schaefer. That one seemed to take forever and a day to get from the mound to home plate. Nice change up of speed there. The 2 2. And this one uh, taps and it's foul. On deck is the freshman second baseman, Carson Rich Richards. And after that would be the right fielder, senior Grayson Priestner. Schaefer sets in and this a slider and that catches the inside part of the plate at the belt. Nice inside pitch by Caleb Sylvia. Second and baseman, uh, number nine. Down Carson looking Richards. goes Schaefer. Down goes Schaefer. Down goes Schaefer. <laughs> Somebody will get that. Somebody. <laughs> Google Howard Cosell. This one tapped off the end of the bat by Carson Richards. Diving play by A.J. Mandolia, but not enough time for a throw. So with one away and uh, now a runner on at first and Carson Richards after the infield right single off of the five, first Grayson pitch. Here comes Priestner. Grayson Priestner, who is walked twice today. He did so in the third inning on seven pitches and then four pitches in the bottom of the fourth. 339 batting average on the year, 14 RBIs. And with a 4-2 lead, this is a curveball that is flared off out of play to the right side and on top of West Mesquite High School. Wind has uh, been steadily coming in at about 20 mile an hour all day as that one is registered for a strike and uh, Caleb Sylvia jumps up 0 2 on Grayson Priestner. Runner at first in Carson Richards in the 0 2. That one strikes him out. That was a three pitch, ruthless. Strikeout by Caleb Sylvia. Got him on a slider. That started just on the inside part of the plate and broke on the outside. So two away. And back to the top of the order here in the bottom of the six. Seth Moss steps in and there's another slider that catches all of the plates. And that slider is uh, sometimes looks like a, a curve. He, Caleb Sylvie doesn't necessarily throw a curve as it's not listed. That a fastball that is hit over to A.J. Mendoli at second. Close play at first. Nice stretch by the six foot seven Cade Farr. And that retires Seth Moss for the third out. Nice throw, nice play between A.J. Mendoli and Cade Farr. And with two strikeouts in that one, no runs for the guard on a one hit, no errors. And one left on. All right, let's head to it. The top of the seventh. Backs against the wall. The Saints trail by two of 4 2 Brook Hill lead. This will decide whether or not there will be a game three of this best of two series after this on the Texas 24 7 television network.